What up guys, how's it going? This is Bharat and we are continuing on from where we left off in the previous video. In the previous video, we talked in primarily about positions and part of speech. And in this video, we're going to be using that knowledge and learning about a very important technique in natural language processing called as chunking. So what exactly does chunking mean? It means that you are creating basically a chunk of text. Uh, what does that, what, what is it used for? So let's say that there is a syntax or sent sentence like I am studying today and there's also another sentence which says that i did my studies today now we know that both of these sentences are trying to say or convey that i finished or i was studying today but a computer will not be able to do that so what we are able to now do is that we are able to create chunks of text that can be fixed fitting into a simple rule which from my side i will say include only the verbs now the verbs could be like studying and studies i'll take just the verbs and i can say that okay this person is trying to say that he did something with respect to studying or studies so it should mean something like okay this person finished his studies and it is also in the present tense so now, uh, now i'm able to create these chunks of text through the uh, chunking technique now chunking technique is also a very simple shallow parsing technique uh, to remove all the unnecessary things or maybe noise in a sentence and it's it's widely used for a lot of different things which we'll be learning towards uh, in the next videos but the shallow parsing is done to create just one layer of a tree now let's assume that this is uh, that is this 50 word sentence and we can just take each single word and see if it is fitting our role if it is fitting our role we'll create it as a chunk and we'll create these chunks of text everywhere throughout the sentence and we'll be creating a one simple one layer tree which can be further used for processing down the line. So if in the sex, uh, next one, we'll be learning about how to form these chunks. Now that the chunks can be formed using the NLTK library's Rejux parser. The Rejux parser library is very, very, or class is very, very powerful. And it can be, it can take any rule that you give, uh, verb, noun, adverb, adjective. You can form any number of rules that you want parse it through the sentence and get whatever output you want to and the primary usage again is to find out the intention of a sentence the intention could be one it might be saying that is it the the person is studying today and this could be another sentence which they says that he studied 25 years ago and we are able to find the intention of the sentence through the means of chunking and also chunks removes the noise like i said and also finds the entity of the sentence which is what i've given here the main intention is to detect entity entities determine what is the sentence trying to say to us it's a very important technique which is what we are going to be learning through code right now also basically we basically have a very simple sentence that we did in the previous one we talked about how do you create position tags how do you print those position tags and it's a very important technique so in this one i'm going to be showing you guys how to first create a rule uh, the rules are very very important if you don't have a rule we cannot form chunks in that sentence the rule formation is very simple and we are going to be making use of the uh, rejects pattern uh, which is prevalent in python uh, to form any kind of a pattern within a sentence in a string you want to find the integers you want to find numbers you want to find asterisks or you want to find alphanumeric characters you can use the rejects pattern to find it and if you guys are not very familiar with rejects pattern just do a simple google search it's not a very complex technique i'll show you guys also in this one so what we can do is i want to first create my chunk uh, rule i want to create a simple rule and there's a simple syntax that you need to follow for that and the first syntax is that it should be having a triple uh, quotes and enclosed within a triple quotes you need to have open and close flower bracket and you're not just that you have to give it also a name i'm going to be giving it as my chunk rule so i'm going to be giving it as my chunk rule with followed by a simple uh, colon so this colon is very very useful because if without this colon the chunk rule will not be given a name and we cannot even find it out basically what it forms is it forms a tuple through this and what we're going to do is that we're going to be creating our first rule in the previous video i showed you guys different uh, i showed a table of i would say 25 27 position tags or part of speech in this video, uh, we are in this uh, rule formation, we can use those pass part of speech tags and form our own kind of a parser. So let's do a simple one here. We'll, we already have printed our position tags in the previous one, right? So let's now run it 
and we can see for ourselves okay now this is going to be considered as a dt uh, i think this is a vbz meaning that present tense verb this means that it's a noun this means it's a noun so we have multiple nouns so what we can do is that we can say within an angular bracket we can say consider noun i don't want just one noun i can also be okay i'm also okay with grouping together multiple nouns now star means that it can be either zero the no nouns are okay but if there's multiple more than zero nouns i need to group it so that's the use of the star it is a rejects quantifier now nouns are created we have group nouns i also i'm not very happy without just the rest grouping nouns i want to also group maybe probably i want to group uh, let's say i want to group the present tense verb like this if vb is there there's also vbg i want to group maybe just the present tense verb now let me go here i'll say group vb and i'll do it multiple times i'm also okay with that i can also say that if there is no noun just leave it if there's no noun, just leave it but if there's more than zero noun that's what i want and similarly you can also do the same thing here so the question marks are within the angular bracket but the star is outside the angular bracket meaning that grouping can happen but outside i want more than one i want some answer out of this is the exact meaning of this rule all right you create a rule rules are done rejects is done we are going to be using the n ltk rejects parser method now let's create our parser so you can say that parser uh, maybe object is equal to nltk dot rejects the parser and i'm going to be forming or parsing my chunk rule to this parser now if i do print the parser object you can see for yourself there's a lot of information available so it says that it's the first stage which is obviously true we just passing it for the first time and this also has only one rule we can have multiple rules attached to a parser also now i'm not worried about this print parser now i want to actually parse a sentence itself now i can do is that i can say parsed sentence is equal to parser object dot parse there's also there's a lot of things here this is just parse one there's a parse all parse sense i want to just parse the entire Uh, position tax so i cannot parse the sentence but i can only parse the position tax so obviously i need to be putting this into a variable i can say that position tax is equal to this one so basically i can pass the position tax or just put it inside or pass it here and i will not print the parse sentence now let's see how what actually it looks like cool it's given out to an answer but we actually don't know what it really means what it really means is that whatever or whatever sentence or part of this sentence is matching our rule is created into one single chunk if whatever is not falling into the rule those words are eliminated so if you go here you can see that there's only a couple of things that are allowed the my chunk rule now has three nouns inside that's the first chunk coder monk channel this is a three different noun and it is actually allowing it to be as part of one chunk and if you go down another one it says that use is a vb which is present tense verb it's allowing it to be part of the chunk okay cool similarly there's also one more noun which is being allowed everything else which is not allowed or if you can see from here this there is a, a comma there's a vr which is not allowed is not coming under our rule so we have technically parsed the entire sentence formed our own chunks we have removed what are the things that is not useful for us and we are very happy now and uh, there's another simple way to visually see it i can do that by doing a simple par sentence to tra and as soon as we run this we'll see for ourselves that it is going to be creating a simple graph or maybe a simple oh it's here so it's going to create a simple graph which will look something like this so what it exactly says is that um it's showing us that it's going to be one layer of parsing or one level of parsing my chunks alone are allowed these are the chunks that are allowed and everything else is not allowed so in terms of that we can now say we can just say okay whatever chunks are parsed or whatever chunks fit into my rule accept that at least the rest of these things out now if you if if you ask me is this the best rule out there i would say no again the concept of natural language processing is that for me i would say a noun verb and probably another noun could mean the entire thing you could say noun like coder monk channel uh, use ntl nltk library basically this is the actual crux of this entire sentence right so we have a very long sentence but the crux is that 
I'm just hoping that you guys like it. So that's the crux of the sentence. So I can form it using Coder Monk, which is Coder Monk channel, which is a noun, uh, learning, or I can say that present tense, present continuous verb, and NLTK is another, uh, I would say probably another noun, and like it, okay, like is also another verb. So I can say just this things alone with this formation with this rule i can probably get the crux of the sentence is it will it be applicable for every sentence out there probably not so it's about about, about creating multiple parsers multiple rules and allowing our sentence to flow through that rule and trying to get out the crux of the sentence so that's when that's the reason why you see people or data scientists working through multiple rules creating multiple rules seeing the seeing the percentage of correctness towards the end and that's the main simple reason here so we've done a simple parsing we also shown it graphically and hopefully you guys have understood the concept of chunking let me meet in the next video i've got other few additional concepts to talk about as well until then it's bharat peace out have a super awesome day